Hey everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. I am vlogging on one of my new cameras. I'm super excited to try this out. Uh, but anyways, it's Anthony's birthday. He is 31 years old today. Yesterday we had some crabs and some cake, just celebrating with his brothers. Um, and we play Monopoly. One of Anthony's favorite things to do, even though he always loses. Um, Lily's still here, so she's going to be going to her dad around 7. We were going to go out to a restaurant tonight, but it's Sunday. And we kind of just want to relax and hang out um, and enjoy his birthday like with just the four of us. And I'm sorry if my eyes are all over the place because I don't know where to look. Because normally I look up um, at the viewfinder. Uh, but this is the, the newest one that I got for the camera and I, again I'm still testing everything out so I'm not sure how the quality is going to be looking or yeah so I apologize in advance um but yeah it's his birthday we're kind of just hanging out we're gonna have wings and french fries because that's what he has asked for Lily's is actually going out with her friends um I have to drive her so I don't know what time she's going but she's in the shower Anthony is currently getting Ollie ready to go to the playground so he's gonna take him for a while um and i realized that i recorded and said that i had to like do my bulk meet and i finished everything in my last vlog but i did not finish that so that is some one of the things that i have to do today to finish up like my weekend to-do list um so i already charged my apple watch which is one of the other things i wanted to do today because i have a gym at my work and i'm gonna be doing that um already planned out my week got my video up ready to go so sunday is already starting off on like a good foot i'm gonna stop at starbucks and get myself and anthony coffee um because yeah we're kind of thirsty and dying <laughs> uh so yeah uh we did buy lily her mini fridge and it's upstairs for her birthday we have to move around her entire bedroom because she only has two outlets and she has a TV, her her computer, and then her fridge. But the fridge does not fit under her desk, which is where we were supposed to put it. So we have to do some configuring and trying to figure out where to put it. The only other place I'm thinking of putting it is like at the top of her bed, but it has to be like connected to an actual outlet. So I might have to like move her bedroom around which I'm not too happy about because there's just a lot of stuff in her bedroom and I don't want to mess it up so this should be this should be fun uh so yeah that's one of my projects for the week if you would like to see that in a future video let me know because her birthday's next weekend and I want it to put together before she comes back this weekend um and I'm even thinking of doing like another um mom morning and night routine I feel like I've gotten my morning and night routine down um now that i'm back in like a good mindset uh let me know if that's something you want to see also i would really love to hear about how your weekend was and your if you're getting ready for like easter or what you're buying your kids um like i said in a other vlog um i'm just like really struggling with lily this year so let me know in the comments what you're doing anyways i'm gonna go do what i need to do while anthony takes ollie to the playground all right so we're in lily's room and you could tell that she's outgrown this uh wall of mermaids and unicorns um i'm probably gonna start taking all of this down today because lily i want the gold thing still lily's too old for this she's gonna keep this um her room was a little bit different than what it used to be looking like when we first filmed her bedroom tour <laughs> we have to figure somewhere to put this fridge lily decided not to go out with her friends so um she's just playing her pc right now oh look at her why look at you gaming lily sorry like i have fish chat since i'm not 13. oh no look at her yo look at my cool background yeah, we see it. It's Tom Holland. The best person ever. I yeah. So, we currently have it over here. It's not plugged in. It's just sitting there. Um, we have her vanity over here. 
We have her TV with a bookcase. We got laundry and stuff over here. And then um, we just have her like little end table along with her bed over here. So like her room is not that big. She's got double closets over here and then the door is kind of right there. So like um, there's not a lot of room and we have to figure this out. So I'm a guy. you're a guy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So my only option is to pretty much turn Lily's uh, bed and face it this way instead of along the wall. So then we could put the mini fridge on the other side. And oh, I'm doing that right now. Yeah, I'm thinking of just moving everything right now and giving this some space. Also, Lily refuses to put her sheets on her bed. Even when I put it on there, she takes them off. So... Okay, I don't like those unicorn sheets. <laughs> well, then well, you should have got new sheets when we went to Target. And I don't like having a sheet on my bed. So she actually just doesn't like a sheet on her bed. It's not because it's unicorn. But it it's yellow again. I'm sorry that it's so yellow. I'm trying to figure out my whole camera settings. Um, but Lily has like a very warm toned light bulb in her bedroom. So oh everything God. is like Should yellow. I try her bed in the middle of the room I yep oh my god so sad. big girl room i know i had this room since i was like nine. <laughs> oh god so we took all of the things down <laughs> we put her nightstand on this side there's her bed there is her little mini fridge along with her tv and book stand she always sleeps with the fan on my vacuum died, so this all needs to be cleaned up. Um, and everything else pretty much stayed the same, so. Not the $24.99 tag on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So, big shift. It takes up, like, a pretty much all of her room. Like, I'll give you guys a quick view from this side. This is how you enter in the room. So, like, it pretty much takes up, like, a lot of her room, but at least it fits now. How are you liking it? It's like 3.20, we have Ollie sitting in the living room just chilling, relaxing. He seems like pretty tired today. Um, so he's watching Spider-Man and doing his thing. I'm getting ready to uh, cut up all of my meat and get that into the deep freezer for the week or the month or however long it takes me to get rid of that meat. Um, and I'm also going to get started on dinner. Like I said, this morning we're having wings and I'm just going to show you guys how I do that. I honestly just buy the wings from Aldi's, cut them in half, throw them in the air fryer, and then I throw whatever sauce I'm going to put on them. And Anthony wants barbecue, but I also have buffalo sauce as well, um, which again, you could just buy from the store and then, you know, drown them in them. And then I have seasoned fries downstairs that I'm just going to throw in the air fryer. Air fryers change the way working moms cook food. Like, I'm telling you guys, air fryers are the best thing that was ever created. Anyways, let's get started on uh, dinner. I finished up packing up my meats for the month. If you don't know this, I have a huge, well, it's not huge, deep freezer in my basement, and I like to stock up on meats every month. Of course, we have a crap ton of chicken, and I actually filmed my grocery haul on TikTok. If you would like to see that, head over to my TikTok. Um... I didn't film it for YouTube, um, but tis the season for grilling. It's coming up very soon, so I actually bought more chicken than I needed. So now I have stuff to last me for like pretty much the whole summer. And this thing is full. It's got ribs, boneless ribs, ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, 
ground pork. I have a bunch of stuff. Um, pork shoulders, anything that I would need for the summer, brats, hot dogs, stuff like that. Um, the only thing I'm missing are burgers. So this is how we keep everything. And this is like the oldest one. So we would use this first and then start picking out of these ones. If you're anything like my family and you are like budgeting, we're budgeting to buy a house, um, and you don't want to waste as much food, we have got it down to a T on how much we use per meal. And we've also uh, figured out how much would we need when Lily's here. Um, and we just buy everything in bulk at the beginning of the month and split it into meals. We always package chicken individually because Lily's not always here. Um, and it's easier for us to just grab one or two compared to like packaging everything into threes or stuff like that. Um, and we always package ground beef into, we buy a family size and we split that into four sections and we just package those individually and we can grab it when we have taco nights or um, I pick up two when I'm doing chili and stuff like that. So I have figured it out my portion so it makes it really easy on budgeting and also, you know, being able to buy what we need for an entire month in one go and I don't have to spend like every week trying to figure out where I'm getting meat and stuff like that so that's just like a pro tip from a mom a working mom because I really don't have a lot of time to go food shopping and I usually try to get it done as fast as possible on Saturday um so I don't have to worry about buying meats or anything throughout the next month because I bought everything that I would need the only thing I would say if I didn't buy or is like shrimp or stuff like that because I don't keep that in the deep freezer um those are just the things that I would have to buy weekly if we decide to make like a shrimp meal. But other than that, it's full to the brim of meats. Um, and I completely recommend this for anybody who is, you know, trying to budget and uh, cut down costs. Is just bulk buying. Um, we also really like the steaks from Costco. You buy four big steaks for the $60 and they're huge. One steak can feed Anthony, uh, Lily and I. So, like, one steak is one meal, so that's four meals of steak. Uh, but they're really cheap at Costco compared to, like, going to Target or um, Aldi's. And they're, like, big, bulky steaks. Um, and they're also, like, really good for grilling. Um, Tis the season, that's what I said. Like, we're going to be grilling very soon um, because we love to grill during the summer. And that's just, like, easy to go to meals during summertime for the weekends. Um, if you would like to see like a week of meals again, I know that was like one of my best videos of late. Um, if you would like to see something like that again, please let me know. Um, now that I'm back at work full time, I definitely have to figure out meals. Um, so yeah, I have like the wings already cooking and I've already done this on my channel. So you literally just buy the pack of wings from Aldi's. Um, you cut them up and throw them in the air fryer 400 for like 22 minutes, but like halfway through I shake them. Um, and then when they're done, I just throw them in a bowl and drown them in dressing or whatever I'm doing. Uh, so yeah, uh, I have a lot going on. I have a pounding headache because I got Starbucks earlier and then I finished my drink as like my coffee from this morning as well. So like, I think I had too much caffeine today. Um, I'm also still getting over like a little bit of a sickness, whatever I had. Um, so I'm kind of just trying to survive today and it's Sunday. So I have to restock my house and clean up. So I'm probably not going to be like vlogging a lot the rest of the day. Um, I just, I just don't feel well, but next weekend we'll be vlogging Lily's entire birthday weekend. We're going to Dave and Buster's, going out to dinner with my family, just doing a lot of fun things. And the Dave and Buster's has a bowling alley as well. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. And like I said, if you don't follow me on TikTok, it's always linked down below and you can see all of my grocery hauls over there. I never miss one. Um, so yeah, check me out over there. If anyone wanted to know, being a mom to a toddler is rough. <laughs> I always forget how hard it is to raise a toddler until like days like this happen. Um, we're still working on the pacifier situation since after Ollie's ear surgery. And we took it today and there has been at least five major meltdowns to the point where he's throwing himself, crying, 
freaking out um and i already had like a pounding headache on top of it and anthony and i could not soothe him at all we would ask him a million questions try to calm him down try to give him other things to focus on more like redirection and none of that worked getting on his level trying to explain that he's we know he's upset but we were unable to change the situation <laughs> um but he just kept screaming so that has been fun um and i don't know i kind of feel like at certain certain a certain point um i'm just like over it <laughs> so anthony gave him his pacifier back and he took him upstairs to give him a bath and like settle him down for the night it's like seven o'clock now um, i'm probably gonna do some light cleaning for my tiktok and like restocking the house real quick and then heading off to bed myself because like i said i have a major headache and it's been going on since this morning it might be just from the coffee but i also think it's from like ollie screaming all day and like me being overstimulated um so yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of just over today it's been a rough sunday um he wasn't too bad yesterday i kind of feel like he is worse when we're both home and he kind of just like if anthony doesn't give what him what he wants he runs to me and vice versa and it's kind of just uh us trying to figure out how to calm him down while the other one is like also trying to do that but it's kind of just we it's counterproductive um but yeah it's it's hard being a toddler mom <laughs> that that's the the main point it's just hard and i will also say like being a mom to a teenager is just as hard it's non-stop drama with a teenager uh lily is just putting us through some crap it's just not sad with that child um yeah <laughs> we fixed her bedroom all is good we thought she was gonna go out with her friends she never did um and we just never know what's going on with her because she doesn't like saying a lot but she also complains about a lot so it's kind of just confusing um to like actually understand what's going on um so even if we try to like have an actual conversation with her it's like attitude and beating around the bush and avoiding certain topics but um yeah so this has been like a weird day for all of us and of course it has to be anthony's birthday and he's just like miserable <laughs> so yeah uh i'm probably gonna end the video here even though that was like a really weird way to end the video <laughs> um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below answer every single comment wish me luck on this week back to work after a week of being homesick see you guys in the next video bye guys